Yo. This one's going out to Ricky Irvin. Shout out to Ricky. Who pretty much disagrees with us half the time. And a hundred percent of the time when it comes to Mayweather. And no it ain't no beef y'all. Why y'all always think we got beef? All of us cool up in this motherfucker. And he makes some good points at times. But check this out Ricky. Just so you know. And all the rest of y'all who may have this twisted. It's like this Rick. Because we slammed the circumstances of this fight. Doesn't mean we didn't get entertained. Because you can betcha ass we did. But there's two levels of mentality when it comes to boxing fans. There's the hardcore level. And the casual level. We kick it with both. But the majority of times we're kicking it with the hardcores. And hardcores know damn well Connor's no professional boxer. We're talking about a man who's never stepped in a ring for a professional match in his life. Facing one of the best in the history of the sport. And damn right we wanted to see it. But it was for entertainment. We didn't watch this thinking it was a real fight. Like we didn't watch this with hardcore intensity taking it seriously like it was Ali Foreman or some shit. We watched this thinking. Okay Mayweather gotta let Connor get off a lil for the sake of the fans. Then he gotta let a few rounds pass for the sake of the fans. Then he gotta stop him. For the sake of the fans. Mayweather painted this entire fight and how he wanted it to go. Also all we do is requests. If you see a video uploaded it's a request. Or we'll respond to our Crowder channels we rocks with. Which we also give props to the requester. Or initiator of that video. And even then we gotta be cool with them and they did an open video asking for anyone to respond. Other than that we could give two shits what not a channel saying. Not our fucking business. But when we don't say a name it means they ask to stay cloaked. A lot of the ladies do that. Guess they don't wanna be bothered by knuckle-headed motherfuckers. But we never do a video just to do a video. If we're doing it it means we was asked. If they wanna stay private in case it's controversial we just drop the video. Like we ain't gonna say someone asked. Because we've heard lots of guys say shit like that before and we think most of them's lying. And we have no desire to sound like them even though everyone knows we was asked. They be like. Everyone was asking me. And we be like. Everyone fucking who. Point is though. Naturally we're gonna watch the fight to chop it up on the shit when we was asked. However we wanna watch this fight even if we wasn't. And yet. We was entertained by it. But our hardcore mentality doesn't respect this shit as a real fight. The build up to this fight didn't have the same feeling as the build up to any other Mayweather fight. Of course we enjoyed it. And watched it. Nor was we bored at any point during this fight. At the same time. At no point during the build up to this fight or while watching it did we think Mayweather had a chance of losing. We didn't even give Connor a puncher's chance level of respect. Like at no point did we think this was a real fight because it wasn't. But that doesn't mean we didn't enjoy it for entertainment's sake. But there's two sides to boxing. The mentality of the hardcore. And the mentality of the casual. In this particular fight. Since it was against a UFC fighter. There's three mentalities. The casual. The hardcore. And the UFC fan. They're like creatures from another dimension. And we're not talking about the fans that equally keep up with and know both sports. But the fans exclusively devoted to those sports. Make no mistake about it. Just because we don't respect this number 50 win as a real fight against a real boxer. Doesn't mean we don't see any good in this match that occurred. I mean we're talking about a group of fans that actually thought Ronda Rousey had a chance at beating Mayweather. Like how fucking insulting can you get to the game of boxing? And no. The octagon what in a made a difference. Two shots to the head and that bitch is out. And all UFC fans know damn well Connor what a busted Ronda's ass. And Mayweather just busted the ass of the man they know what a busted Ronda's. Betcha Ronda's thinking about what a clueless idiot she was once watching that shit. Like she actually started believing her own hype. And we gotta give Mayweather credit. Which we did during that time when they was talking that crap. Mayweather handled it well and let time take care of the shit. Naturally from the hardcore perspective we know it's a bullshit fight and deserves no fight 50 win respect in our view. But make no mistake about it. Mayweather played this game well and did box injustice. When fans of another young sport has so little respect for a sport full of the history box and doesn't just thinks their fighter can come and kick the asses of the greatest boxers in a boxing match. Not in the octagon but the boxing ring. They need a serious reality check. 
and Mayweather gave it and did box injustice in the process. In the end he gets the win over Ronda without ever touch inner. And not just one. But a triple win. First it was Holly's box and background that took her out. Then came Amanda. All hands. Not a takedown. Nah. All fucking hands. Then he gets a third indirect victory against Ronda by getting a victory over Connor. And sons the UFC. There's a lot of UFC fans that have a newfound respect for boxers and their craft. They now know hands ain't no joke. And boxers know UFC fighters are the kings of their sport and ain't trying to step in the octagon claiming they're the best in their territory either. Well. Unless your name's James Tony. Now don't get this twisted either because not all UFC fans thought that shit. But a vast amount was jumping on the bandwagon and building momentum towards this idiotic belief. Like we was shocked at some of the crap we heard coming out of the mouths of UFC fans. Scratching our heads thinking. This idiot really believes this fucking crap. Like no joke they were serious too. And if Connor what a one all hell in UFC fan disrespect what a been unleashed. So when it comes to these facts Rick we actually did enjoy this entertainment. But naturally. As hardcores. We know real fights. And no this wasn't one. In the end though. We're more pleased with it happening than with it not when you consider what it's shown the minds of the public concerning these sports. It went from a future of UFC fans claiming their champions would beat the best boxing champions. In a fucking boxing ring too. Not the octagon but a fucking boxing ring. To now thinking. Na na na. As for Conor Dana and the UFC they got that money. But there's something about it. Like they sold their souls to chase the paper illusion. We can tell you like this. If a man threw money on the ground. And said pick it up if you want it. I ain't bending or getting on the ground for no one. If it's a trillion dollars. Shove your trillion up your fucking ass. But Dana bended. And knew damn well Connor wasn't gonna win. Sure he said throw a little more there and I'll bend. But he bended. I mean if this becomes the biggest money fight in history. It's historically tagged by the boxer whipping the UFC fighter's ass. So make no mistake about it. In the big picture. Mayweather did box injustice. And the world knows boxing's the sport that produced those dollars. And remains the OG big boss when it comes to the two. And the entire world knows it. So Ricky. We ain't hating as much as you think in the big picture. But as hardcores. We all know the fight was still bullshit. Mayweather just pimped the fans in UFC. And basically made Dana White wear a skirt. Ultimately though. What's the point? Well. You've gotta weigh both sides. Naturally hardcores don't respect this as no real fight. The point of big fights have always been that there's real competition. Not some WWE type rigging of a fight. Or a situation where it's a real fight, yet we know without a doubt who the winner's gonna be. Fights have favorites. But mega fights have always been about two badasses and both actually having a real chance at victory. Hardcores knew damn well Connor didn't. Yet in the end. The positives have outweighed the negatives when it comes to this fight. Because UFC casuals have learned that the hands of boxers ain't no joke. And whether they'll own up to it or not. There's a newfound respect for boxing. Boxers had respect for the UFC when it comes to what those guys and gals do in their territory. That's why Mayweather wasn't going in no damn octagon. Yet there was a lack of it for boxing when it comes to the UFC and a lot of their fans. The balance has been set in order. And boxing just may have got a few new fans. The UFC hasn't. Truth is. The next UFC fight just might not feel the same for UFC fans. And Dana White's the one that sold it out to boxing for the money Mayweather threw on the ground and bought it. He better hope in the end that big payday don't make him lose money in the big picture. Like this might even make Canelo Triple do better. If they was smart they woulda advertised during this fight. Yeah, monster fight coming up. Golden boy woulda a paid for that anyway. Nevertheless hardcore already knew the truth. But we've gotta give Mayweather deserved credit for showing the UFC world the truth too. We all know Mayweather saw an opportunity and wanted that money and some personal payback. And nothing's wrong with Mayweather having this fight, but the fact that it's acknowledged as a legitimate 50th win's ridiculous. The point of acknowledging records supposed to be because you're facing real competition. We may as well get Thurman and Spence and let them beat up 50 guys that never fought a professional match. They could be like 70 and 80 and 0 in a week. Golden State shut has set their record like against a football team. They could have been like. 
Well we both use balls in our sport and run. That shit's no record anyway. We've got no idea why motherfuckers keep claiming that crap. Buddy did bring some respect for the art of boxing and the fact that hands ain't no joke. So it's a bittersweet situation. No credit from us for the 50th win but much credit for setting straight those who thought UFC fighters could just walk in a boxing turf and jacket. Mayweather does deserve to be acknowledged for that. But if fighters are gonna start doing this and counting it as legit wins it's gonna start polluting the sport. That simple. So respect to you Ricky. And until our next one. Peace. We're out.